Hi, this is Linda jumping in here to fill you in about the fascinating history of the Caternix quail. By the end of this short lesson, you'll know where Caternix quail come from, how they narrowly escaped extinction, and how they got to go to space without paying Elon Musk millions of dollars. Wild Caternix quail are ground-dwelling birds that live in tall grasses where they can hide from predators and eat seeds and bugs and larvae. But they don't stay on the ground all the time. Wild Caternix quail are actually migratory and they can fly long distances. They travel over a huge area that includes China, Russia, India, North Africa, Korea, and Southeast Asia. These wild quail have been around for a long time. They show up in ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, in ancient Greek texts, and even the Old Testament of the Bible. Sometime in the 12th century, people in Japan started keeping wild quail in captivity. They were prized for their beautiful songs. In fact, there were contests to see whose quail could outsing all the others, and the contest winners would be placed into special breeding groups where they could pass on their vocal talents to their offspring. And things went along like this for about the next 800 years. But in the early 1900s, words started getting out that in addition to their singing abilities, Caternix quail could actually produce delicious eggs, and they grilled up nicely on the hibachi as well. So breeding for meat and eggs began in earnest, and by 1940, the industry was booming. But then, World War II happened. By the end of the war, the entire Caternix songbird population in Japan was destroyed. However, there were a small number of birds bred for meat and eggs that escaped harm. It's believed that all commercial lines of domesticated Japanese Caternix quail today are descendants of those lucky survivors. As the Caternix populations recovered in Japan, state game departments in the United States thought it would be a good idea to release Caternix into the wild so that they could reproduce naturally and be hunted as game birds. Over a period of five years, more than a million Caternix quail were released, but they failed to adapt to their new environment and just ended up becoming lunch for some hungry predators. So while that didn't work out, around the same time, researchers discovered that Caternix quail were an ideal species for medical research. To this day, Caternix quail are an important part of the development of new vaccines, treatments, and medications. Caternix quail were the first vertebrates, meaning animals with a backbone, to begin life in space. The Soviet Union sent up quail eggs to their space station, where cosmonauts put them in a specially made incubator. Their most successful mission came in 1999, when they hatched 36 chicks, an amazing 64% hatch rate. During another mission, they sent adult quail up to their space station, and on the way, one of the hens laid in an egg. A few days later, that egg was sent back down to Earth, where, 17 days after that, a chick hatched from it. So now that you know a little bit about the history, in the next section, we're going to dive into some details about the Caternix quail so you have a good understanding of their characteristics and the varieties that you have to choose from.